Miss Hill, you're the owner of a rental property yes. that the defendant was renting from you since 2015. Correct. What kind of rental property is it? A uh, single family home. Do you own the home? I do. When did you purchase it? In 2012. Did you purchase it as a rental property? I did not. I lived in the residence before renting it to the defendant. Who did you live there with? My daughter. And why did you move out? Um, I was relocated for work, so I moved to Florida. How much did you pay for the house? I bought the house from an auction for about $13,000. And did you put any money into it? I did. I put about $20,000 into the home. And you lived in it after you purchased it and after you renovated it with your daughter from 2012 to 2015 when you leased it to the defendant. That is correct. So it was renovated in 2012. That is correct. Is your claim that when the defendant moved out, she left extensive damage in the house. The defendant says there wasn't extensive damage. Whatever was there, it was normal wear and tear. So do you have photographs of the house from when you moved out? I do not. Tell me when the defendant moved out. June of 2017. And she notified you she didn't want to renew her lease? She notified the property manager at the time. How much was rent? Her rent was $800. Uh, initially started in the first lease at $750. But at the last year was $800? That's correct. Where were you moving to? I was moving back home with my mother to help her out because she had just a few months previous to that had lost her husband and I was So you back. were moving back with your mother? Yeah. How many people lived in the house? Me, my three kids, and the other tenant. You had two tenants in the house? Um, I had two adult tenants, yes. Did the other tenant remain? No. They moved into the property together and they moved out of the property together. Is this someone that you are a friend to? This is to? my cousin. When you moved out in June, you received, according to your complaint, a notification that you should come out to see the house. That's correct. When the defendant moved out of the property, I was notified by did the Did you do a walkthrough with the property manager when you moved out? We did a walkthrough in May when it came out. What day in June did you move out? I moved out June 1st. I would like to see a copy of the walkthrough. They didn't give me no copy. Do you have a copy of the walkthrough? I do not. I just have photos of the walkthrough from the day she moved out. May I see them? Yes. Who's writing on the walls? My eight-year-old daughter. Well, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is. Who told her that that was an appropriate thing to do, to write on somebody else's walls? Each time she done it, she was put on punishment for it. This isn't a one-shot deal of her writing on the walls. She wrote on the walls often, at different times. Mm -hmm. Well, who was supervising her? Who was supervising her? That's she my question. Up... You have the answer. She might have been upstairs after she left the bathroom. And, or whatever. You show this to the defendant, please, and tell me who did that to the blinds? Okay, these blinds, I see the pictures, and... Who did that to the blinds? My same eight-year-old. Who did this to the walls? Holes in the walls. By me living there, I will take responsibility for the holes in the wall. Same person I just showed you about the other two is the same one who was doing all the damage. What happened to the kitchen cabinets? Okay, where you see the paint coming off at? It was painted gray, and by me cleaning the cabinets with bleach. The bleach, what they did was, was damage the cabinet, and the paint started coming off, and that's why the cabinets was like that. You have communication from the property manager? Yes. I'd like to see it. That was the afternoon of the walkthrough where... Could you please show this to the defendant? He and the contractor took photos and also gave me um, the estimate amount of damages. That's not true with that picture. Is she living with you now? Mm-hmm. Yes, she are. How does she and her children treat your property? They treat it all right. Well, who taught her to treat other people's property like this? Nobody. Did you have the place fixed? I have. Do you have the receipts for me? I do. Would you like the receipts or would you like I have a breakdown of everything? Well, I would like the re actual receipts. Okay. Did you re-rent the property or are you selling it? Um, the property has not been rented again because of the pest. So when she left the property, she left it infested with bed bugs, roaches, and mice. So on the initial visit to Ohio to take care of the property and restore it, we were not able to do any of the work on that initial visit because when we walked through, we had five contractors with us and at least a dozen mice scurried across the floor. We also noticed that there was a roach infestation. We called out the exterminator and then he advised us that there was also a bed bug infestation. Charging for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished. Thank you, Your Honor.